Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's September 28th, 2021, and I thought I'd take a quick break from being outside and uh, and I need to get back out there. But there is a, a documentary uh, uh, film that I really recommend everyone to see, and this is under the investing uh, playlist that I that I have on, on our uh, YouTube channel. Um, I don't like making, I, I will share my thoughts and what I think are important things, but this is one thing that I think is really important to do because investing can seem completely overwhelming, daunting. The information, the terms, what's the difference between a mutual fund, a bond, what's, what are index funds, what about financial advisors, what does it mean of fiduciary responsibilities, those sorts of things. Uh, if this isn't th something that's been part of your normal um, uh, discussions, it's, it's overwhelming and daunting. And then if you're fortunate enough to have a 401k plan where you work, uh, you may have someone that comes in once a year to come in and, and, and advise you on or give you some guidance as far as which group thing to go in, the growth fund if you're young, or the balance fund, and they have all these different names for all these different funds that all of the, uh, the companies that you work at, that they have, uh, have an agreement with uh, brokerage uh, groups to help get the funds, uh, get you invested in 401ks. And so this documentary produced by Frontline originally in April of 2013, and I, th and I think it's called The Retirement Gamble, and I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. This is one documentary that I highly recommend that everyone watch. And if your, your spouse is, the, is it, your partner, uh, also is involved and you, and, and you don't always see eye to eye, I try to get that person to watch it with you as well so you can at least become aware of um, the, the games that are being played with people's 401ks. Now it takes you from the time when pensions uh, were v relatively much more common than they are now today where many corporations had pension plans and that would uh, uh, set aside uh, retirement funds for, for when people retired ultimately and they were fantastic uh, but those are those days are, are are gone now and thank goodness there are 401k plans they're really meant for the elite to to start out with but uh, many people if you've got a full-time job at a reasonable size uh, company and I've made videos in the past in my investing videos where you can do set up, even if it's a small company that you work in, you can send up your own simple IRAs or SEP IRAs, those sorts of things. But right now I'm just talking about the 401ks. You may have um, times when uh, some representative from the uh, company, the organization that you're, the company that you work for, is uh, gone into an agreement with, so your you can have automatic withdrawals each pay period that are pre-taxed, uh, I'm sorry, uh, are tax deferred like a 401k or a post-tax which is a 401k Roth that go into uh, to a pool that's, that can, the per percentages of that can be put into different funds whether it's a uh, different types of mutual funds typically so it could be a growth fund it could be a, a balance fund and it may be something that mimics something in, in the uh, in the like an index fund be similar to that but uh, there's a lot of hidden costs when we're doing this now me personally just yesterday now Thea is only working another three months 13 weeks and uh, so yesterday we took uh, money from my wife's IRA, I'm sorry, from her 401k where she works, which isn't, it just goes in and it sits there. So uh, her money goes into that and she, her, we're fortunate her employer also matches to a certain percentage uh, her contributions to her 401k. That money uh, sits in just a, 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 a minuscule amount of uh, interest that it gets in it. It isn't invested in any funds. A fund manager would tell you you're nuts to leave it just in a simple interest account because inflation is going to beat that interest. And they're absolutely right. 
But what we do every three months is we do a, a distribution. We roll that money over into an IRA. So we're not investing into accounts where other people are making money off of uh, her retirement money. And so, and many people, if you, if you create your own IRA at any different, uh, you know, I happen to use Fidelity. I like Fidelity, but this isn't for Fidelity. Uh, and I think I've made a video in the past about why I like Fidelity, but uh, it could be any of the other major, uh, uh, you know, companies like Fidelity. So we roll it over into her IRA, individual retirement account, and then we invest that in the stocks that we want. Now, that can get very complicated as far as people saying, geez, I don't know which stock to do. Like, we're heavily invested in Tesla, and I really don't recommend people just investing in individual stocks until they really do their homework about individual stocks. But you may just inv invest it into an, an index fund with a very, very low um, um, charge to you. It might be a half of a percent, three quarters of a percent, or one percent, but that's the only charge that you're, you're receiving. So there are some, you know, so you can buy and sell in, in these common stocks without, uh, in, I'm sorry, in these common index funds without incurring a, a cost like they used to, I used to, every time I would buy stocks or uh, invest in index funds, it would cost me money each and every time I sold it would cost me. Nowadays, those charges are gone, so it gets much easier to manage. So, without going much further into what I do and all, I think it would be in everyone's interest who's interested in preparing for their own retirement uh, to watch this documentary. It isn't going to go over Social Security. It's going to talk to you about how fund managers, financial advisors, uh, financial planners, uh, the companies that, that, that manage your funds for your 401k at work, how they make, make their money in many different ways. They get little bits of percentages. And just like I talked about in previous videos, the power of compounded interest, uh, that money over years, that the small charges that they're, that they're uh, making can be astronomical. I believe it's, it's well over $150,000 the average person uh, pays uh, for managing uh, their money over their lifetime to a 401k plan. And that 155000 or whatever it may be could really be useful for your own benefits. The other reason that I'm mentioning this at this point is I've never been one of those people that, that wants to invoke fear about our Social Security disappearing. Uh, I, I, I don't believe it will completely disappear, uh, but at the current state of our, um, of our government working together, in other words, our, our, you know, uh, between Republicans and Democrats and just having a two-party system, this is so dysfunctional right now and the amount of misinformation and, and not working together uh, is, is, is a big concern of mine. Uh, the Social Security Administration, uh, although this year we'll probably receive one of the highest cost of living allowance adjustments for those people who are receiving Social Security benefits. So they will see a, a, a percentage increase, you know, sometimes it's 0%, sometimes it's 0.3%, it may be 5% or even more that there's a cost of living allowance. That's the real good thing in the short term. However, the, um, without there being some new acts in, in, enacted for our Social Security um, uh, uh, benefit pool that we have, there's a very good chance within, a, within, within <laughs> certainly within everybody's retirement age, that the, the, the amount that we're going to be receiving in our retirement is going to be substantially uh, reduced. I think it's by 2030, I can't remember. Uh, it may be reduced by 25%. In other words, you're only going to get 75% uh, if you log on to your Social Security Administration and go to My Social Security. If you haven't done that yet, I recommend that you do that. And you can look at how much each year you've contributed and check that, make sure it's correct. 
And you can also check and see, well, geez, it's age 62, what will my requirement benefit potentially be uh, estimated, depending on what age you are. At 60, at full retirement age, it may be 66, 67, what will my uh, retirement uh, benefit be? And then also at, um, at 72, what your uh, I'm sorry at night at 70 years of age at full at, not at full retirement age full retirement age will be 66 or 67 somewhere's in there for most people at this point um, but uh, at after you hit age 70 you might as well take the withdrawals from your Social Security but if it's going to be reduced by 25 percent by the time you you uh, you hit that age of being uh, able to withdraw those funds, it would be in your best interest, no matter how much the, the they take out of your uh, your paycheck each month, to, to sock more away in an individual retirement account, an IRA or a Roth IRA. So I do recommend watching this this documentary. I'd say watch it twice. The first time, watch it. Just get familiar with the flow of the of the documentary. The second time, I'd say watch it, stop, pause it, uh, take some notes uh, along the way so that you can be better informed about well, what is a financial advisor that has fiduciary responsibility? How is it that mutual funds uh, charge you through this process? And through this whole process, uh, you may come up with. Uh, questions that you can talk to somebody who you who you respect and uh, that that you believe is honest as well uh, it's a tough world when you're first learning about this stuff it took me uh, quite some time to to really digest where all the charges were coming from and I was shocked uh, when I found out how much uh, I was potentially losing especially given compounded uh, rates so that's all I wanted to say today. Um, feel free to leave any comments or questions. I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not recommending anything other than watching this documentary. And this is The Retirement Gamble. Originally, I think it was April of 2013 was produced. It's uh, by PBS Frontline. And, uh, and I really recommend that everyone watch this sit down so that you can be at least be aware of the risks that you're taking by not taking more control. I'll say one more thing. Um, you know, I've talked talked about at length in different at different videos about all the different forms of investments that I make, and I'm not talking about financial investments, material investments, a living capital, uh, certainly intellectual capital, and certainly um, uh, experiential capital. Well, in order to get intellectual and experiential capital, uh, certainly you can you can watch lots of videos and and do research online, finding out as much as you can, going to the actual websites and pulling down the prospectus of these uh, of the companies that they're investing in and all. And it can take some some time. But another form of investment is social capital. So. Besides, you know, gearing up to learn as much as you can and getting experience actually doing some of these steps, going through the process and, and, and gaining more information and, and getting some good practices. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with those two, getting investing in social capital, surrounding yourself with people who really know this stuff well and that are honest and they have integrity and that can be uh, help you through decision making. And that can take some time trying to find those people who can really help you out a lot. And that's where a good fiduciary um, advisor can help you out. It's like a good fiduciary advisor may say, okay, first thing you need to do is to pay off those credit cards with those high interest rates before you even think about putting money into a 401k or an IRA. Uh, they, are, they are working for you. You're paying them up front and they don't get get fed back from different funds that they're they're uh, advising you to invest in they're obligated by law to have your best interest in every single uh, recommendation that they give you so enough said from me at this point so if you find this video of value please give me a thumbs up be feel free to leave any comments experiences um, in in the description below and I'll try and 
answer some of the comments and questions in, in a future video soon. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and take care and stay healthy and safe. Bye-bye now.